Let me, um, let me turn to another issue that really is important. I'd like to you get your commitment on. One of the first pieces of legislation that I focused on, again, was in this committee to develop a new program that helped disadvantaged communities that uh, lack water and sewer. I think it comes to a surprise to many Americans to know that certain communities, unfortunately, over 30 in my state, uh, don't have basic uh, running water, flush toilets, basic um, things that most Americans just take for granted that they think everybody has. Well, not everybody has them. I think everybody should. These are some of the most patriotic communities in America. They're primarily Alaska Native communities. Alaska Natives serve at higher rates in the U.S. military than any other ethnic group in the country. And yet a lot of these communities don't have flush toilets. They literally have to take a bucket called a honey bucket out of their house and dump it into a lagoon full of waste. It's horrendous. We have much higher rates of diseases uh, in the children in these communities because of this. So um, the Trump administration has kind of been up and down in funding this program. I want to get your commitment. Uh, uh, I've tried to get it from every EPA administrator and budget director that you're going to help fund these programs that are very basic in terms of what most Americans would believe is just common hygiene that we all take for granted in most communities. Can I get your commitment to work with me and this committee on those issues? And absolutely, as I think the administrators indicated, you know, these are, these are core issues for the agency. Uh, these are core, I mean, I ran a public health department. These are core public health issues. So uh, absolutely have my commitment. And let me ask about one other one. The administrator was up in Alaska in August, had great meetings, and this issue came up a number of times. We've made some progress in this committee again on a legislation that I had. I want to thank the chairman for his help on this. But in 1971, there was landmark legislation called the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act. It provided federal and state land to Alaska Native tribes and other entities in fee simple, a lot of land, 44 million acres. It re kind of, kind of uh, really energized our state in terms of our economy, in terms of what our native communities were able to do with this land. Unfortunately, a lot of that land that was transferred by the feds was contaminated, severely contaminated. So now the Alaska native people were um, saddled with lands, but you couldn't use the lands. Worse. There was a time that the federal agencies were coming back to them saying, oh, by the way, we're going to sue you to clean up the dirty lands that we gave you that were polluted in the first place. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, we got a law passed recently. It was legislation of mine that said, of course they're not going to be liable. The land was given to them polluted. But what we need to do is think about in a way, innovative ways to clean up this land. Uh, like you would on military bases or other places that are transferred to communities that are contaminated. It's not just going to be through dollars and cents. It's going to be through other innovative ways. I've talked to the administrator about a number of these. Can I get your commitment to work with me and this committee on ways to clean up the uh, ANCSA, what we call ANCSA, contaminated lands in Alaska? Absolutely. Great. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.